Hello guys, my name is DJ. You can call me Sidex. I'm a 3D visual and VFX artist out here in Nigeria. This is uh, my entry for the Neo Hackathon Challenge uh, for mascot, creating a new mascot. So my idea was to use the logo, the Neo logo with the cube design shape to like create uh, a character. So I, I, I decided to go with the, a rabbit character a, a super mega rabbit so uh, this is the character design uh, the 2d character design so i'm just like i'm drawing the car character in, in different in different looks and different positions and motion so yeah basically the the rabbit's name the character's name should be rabbito Neo Rabito. That's the name of the mascot. And uh I feel he's going to have like his own super mega lab in the Neoverse space. And I really don't don't see any uh limitations with this character because I feel the character could could literally be anything like anything you want him to be that's the mascot so i'm just designing the 2d part now i'll move to the brush to like sculpt it and sculpt the character into 3d then thereafter i'll probably rig the character if i have time before the competition ends also so yeah, this is me sculpting uh, the rabbit foot. That's the left leg for the rabbit. Oh, sorry, the right leg. I mean, to say so, I'm sculpting it and I duplicated it and flipped it in the this is the axis. Sorry, the x axis. And now I'm sculpting the body, his, his bump area, and yeah, his nose. So yeah. I'm carving in the eye sockets now and carving his nose and placing it where it's supposed to be and I'm gradually now trying to make the ear with a sphere that's a rabbit ear you know how rabbit ears are long and all that so yeah I'm going to duplicate the ear also and then remesh it then now I'm making the rabbit tooth. So now, after creating the rabbit tooth, I'm making his hand now. So I'm using uh, spheres to like make the nails and all. And then I'll sculpt it and shape it with the clay brush and damp standard brush also. So that's that's basically it. So after finishing from ZBrush now, I'm going to check it with the reference and add uh, the colors. The colors I'm going to be using are the Neo logo color itself. That's the actual logo green and the darker green part of it with some white. So now I'm just preparing the model so I'll export it to 3D model software where I can add bones to it. So now we're in Blender and I've added my bones and I'm with painting now. That's uh, painting the parts of the bones where will be uh, models where the bone will affect so i'm giving it a uh, clothy kind of feel like someone is in the mascot like someone is putting on uh the the mascot kind of feel so yeah so now i'm just adjusting the weight paint to affect all, all the part of the meshes that were not properly affected so I'm just fixing my weight paint and I've added a HGRI map if you notice like an environment map to just give it the feel of it being in like a garden running around so I'll just add the plane to the floor of to so add the plane to the floor of the HGRI and and then now I'm creating the run animation just duplicating my run cycle 
and having him run across the screen and just make a little animation just to showcase and bring the character to life so now i'm just moving his eyeballs like looking i'm making him stare into the camera then looking upward and looking away from the camera so i'll be rendering with uh, uh the real time uh, i'm sorry i'll be rendering with cycles not ev ev is the real time renderer in blender so i'll be using cycles to render this it will take a while though but yeah if you have a good and beefy computer it shouldn't take that long so guys i would really like for you guys to like vote for me to win this contest so i might probably get myself a good gpu and make more lovely arts for you guys i hope you guys really enjoyed uh, the process and you love the character i've created rabito and i think i'll do this more and probably put out uh youtube videos and tutorials also on how to do this so thanks for uh sticking with me through the video it's quite lengthy though but hope it was worth it thank you very much and i hope you guys vote for me to win okay at this point i'm just saying too much so I think I just shut up now.